Hello everyone, I'm Yanis Kalafatis and together we will become a little bit smarter uh, in terms of cooking and uh, a little bit better. So there's a few things I'm gonna, we're gonna see today um, that I think they're quite important. If you would like this video, uh, make sure to leave down below in the comment section, uh, comment which one, were, which one was your favorite. And if you would like to see more videos like this, I'll be happy to uh, share more tricks and uh, tips. Also, you can uh, smash the like button and subscribe. So number one, I would recommend you invest in one of those uh, mats or nets. It's a foam as material and you place it under uh, your chopping board and that way uh, it doesn't move. I know you can say that uh, as you can see like the chopping board it has got some non-slip um, legs or pads if you want to call them uh, but they're not that effective um, they can st they're still slippery that's why one of those bad boys uh, works uh, perfectly now if you don't have one of those uh, you can still use um, some wet paper However, if you want to be a little more sustainable, you can use one of those here, uh, wet under your chopping board, and that way is no way is gonna move. The chances are less you're gonna cut yourself uh, just because of this. Number two, speaking of uh, safety in the kitchen, it's very important to have one of those steels. Uh, there is uh, there are different kinds of steels out there, um, honing steels. Uh, you can find the regular one, there's a diamond one that's usually more expensive but quite more efficient and it will last you for a while. Um, this is the more easier to find, uh, quite cheap and it will do the job. Um, the way to use it, I mean there are a lot of ways to use it. You will see people doing this movement here or the opposite. Most of them are not quite correct and the reason is because the steel is moving and when you're sharpening a knife you want it to be steel. That way you don't have a wavy blade. Um, so the best way in my opinion is to push it down onto a non-slippery surface if that's a chopping board or a, anything and that way Without moving, you just move the blade, uh, the knife, and you put a little bit force on your hand. That way, you don't create waves by one straight line. Make sure you always wipe the knife after you sharpen it, and that way you can have a sharp knife, and it's less likely you're gonna cut yourself. Number three again is about safety. <laughs> I, I promise this video is not going to be about health and safety in the kitchen but since I started this uh, topic I'm gonna keep it going. Um, you can go for those beautiful knife guards here. Um, I know a lot of people put them into wood blocks um, or seats or any other cases however or in the worst scenario you just leave it uh, hanging around in the um, in the drawer touching other metals and that way is gonna lose its sharpness and maybe even chip so uh, one of those uh, magnetic guards uh, just is very simple it just it clicks onto the knife and then uh, it's magnetic uh, it's very good now this is a bit more expensive if you're looking for something cheaper you can go for something uh, like a leather or fake leather um, that you can put your knife to just to prevent it um, they just uh, uh, get destroyed by the time number four uh, i think it's very important to have a probe uh, or a digital thermometer uh, now this is more for liquids because it doesn't work that well with protein but that one you can certainly have more uh, an accurate reading uh, you can Check on Google uh, for temperatures and that way you're on top. Number five, uh, please, uh, I know something simple, but <coughs> uh, silicon spatula or Marie's, as we call it in the professional uh, kitchens, 
It's something very important. You lose much less liquids or whatever you scooping out of pans, bowls, containers, and is uh, actually satisfying and very easy to use. Also, uh, it can go up to 300 degrees, depending on the brand material and all the stuff, but they're really good. Number six, scissors. I just hate like using knives to cut bugs, especially against like surfaces or boards. That way, uh, they lose the sharpness. It's dangerous. You can cut yourself. Just get yourself a pair of scissors and just cut the bugs you want. Number seven, um, those bad boys. Um, I don't remember how they're called. I'll pop it somewhere here on the video. Um, is the best way to close bugs. Um, it's not air it's not, it doesn't remove the air, but it's airtight. Um, it looks like that, um, as you can see here. Look how well it sealed up. And then if you want, you can uh, put inside another bug and tie it so that way you don't get flies and all the stuff. And uh, yeah. All right, if you have been watching our videos for a while, <laughs> you've noticed this bad bush in the background, right? Um, I love this so much because you know how much we hate like soggy cereal that they're not crisp, they lose their crispiness and flavor. Uh, that goes for spices and like a lot of other stuff, even rice and pasta and uh, a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of food, um, uh, dry food. Uh, so those, as you can see here, they have a seal and I highly recommend you invest in those. They're a bit pricey, but they do well a job and you can put even crisps and keep it for a long time. They're really good for storage. I love them. I promise you this video is not about gadgets or what you should buy for your kitchen. But this is another thing that I cannot leave it out of the list. Like, it's as well as important. Um, so I really love using spices. Um, I've got a lot of them. <laughs> around my kitchen even there and there are a lot more in the cupboard to be organized etc etc so i would really recommend one of those um rotating ones because you can select which pies you want and it's really easy to access and you can put even stuff on top now if you think that's not for you um then you can probably go for one of those uh cells uh you have three rows and you can fit a lot of them still tidy and you keep them nice and neat number nine i think is one of the best ones out there because <clears throat> something a lot of people don't know about so that will be two in one basically <laughs> now one thing i want to show is what like the most important is uh, when you're filling up like plastic bottles that you can squeeze like this when you put a big amount you can just simply squeeze and that way you push out air and then when you release it the air will go back down and that way you'll suck the liquid down um they use that's more efficient usually with uh thicker substances uh and another one i want to say is when you're filling up um a lot of liquid and even it's thicker if you lift up a little bit that way the air goes through um, it will be easier for you to do your job. And for number 10, uh, you know how you want to grate garlic and you always have like a grater but still thick or you lose it quite a lot. Usually you might cut your finger a little bit. So what I highly recommend is if you go to the Japanese store, they are not even expensive, they're like what, five pounds, six pounds, it depending. Uh, these are wasabi graters, you can find them online as well. Um, but anymore, they're quite popular, it's really easy to find. And then with a little brush, you can just, uh, just grind it around and then that doesn't go through, it hasn't got holes, it will stay up here and then you just push it out and then you get everything, you don't lose anything. Okay, so that was a little bit quick, but that was the 10 really important things I believe that a lot of people don't know about and they're like secrets 
or tricks um, that I used. I've either learned, um, actually, I've learned from my professional career so far. I highly recommend. Um, let me know down below in the comments if you've seen it before, if you know about it, or you learned something. I'll be happy to hear about it. Um, Make sure to have a look on our videos, we've got a lot of recipes, uh, the link for those recipes will be in the description, we also have got a photography blog, make sure to click the red button and subscribe to join us and motivate us, and as I said, have a look around our channel, we have a lot of beautiful recipes, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, have a beautiful day.